This data obviously was just presented. It's going to go to the FDA uh, sometime this year. I would anticipate an approval. So assuming it's approved in the post-chemotherapy setting initially, it's going to be a drug that's going to be used either before or after abiraterone. But also the abiraterone data most recently announced will likely move that drug increasingly to a pre-chemotherapy space. So for a while, what you're going to have are patients who have seen abiraterone, who then get chemotherapy, who will then be exposed to MDB 3100. I think ultimately, should the data uh, be appropriate, MDV3100 may move into the pre-chemotherapy space. And there the sequencing, whether they're going to be used in absolute sequence or in combination, remains to be seen. So I, I think there's going to be some uh, initial period where we may not know the optimal sequence, but I think eventually we'll have a better insight into how to, to sequence or combine these therapies.